Now you're going to start to see the power of the substring and you're also going to learn why I've taught you sometimes you've got to go that way. Now what if the boss said I need a report and I want the last two letters from everybody's last name and you go well wait a second you want the last two letters of everybody's last name but they have different lengths in their last name. So now we're going to see the substring command and remember substring has what I want a substring, what's the starting position and we've always seen a number like two or three and how many positions should I go and we've always seen a number like two or three. Okay, But you can run a subquery to build those numbers of two or three or two or three. So take a look at this. We're going to select the last name and we only want the last two characters of the last name and it's a character 20 so we will be trimming it. Then I'm going to substring the last name for and usually you're going what's the number and they go we're going to run a command to get the number and we say first of all trim the trailing from last name all the spaces are gone in that car 20 so we actually have that last name right there then I want you to count the characters in that trimmed last name like Jones would be one two three four five and it's not going to start in position five because we want the last two letters we actually use this minus one for two but the minus one here says look Jones trim Jones then count the characters in Jones five minus one start in position four and go for two and that's going to give me the last two letters of Jones. Let's take the next one, Smith. Well, they're going to trim the spaces from Smith. Then they're going to count the characters in Smith. S-M-I-T-H. It's five again. Minus one. Starting position is four. Four, two. Let's do one a little bit harder. Smythe. Trim Smythe. Let's count the characters. S-M-Y-T-H-E. It's six. Now, minus one, it's five, four, two. This will always deliver the last two letters in that last name. This lesson is brought to you by Coughing Data Warehousing. Begin your Teradata journey the right way with our Teradata Basics book. Visit coughingdw.com for more information. Hi, this is Tom Coughing. Thank you so much for watching the video. Please hit subscribe to make sure you are kept up to date on all our videos.